WebXR is an exciting new API for developers to create AR or VR applications on the web. These apps are available instantly to users across different platforms through just a simple website. No more downloading apps from the App Store or Play Store. You can, for example, go to this page called XR Dinosaurs, and by clicking just a few buttons, add a huge dinosaur to your street. Or if you prefer, you can go for small dinosaurs too. Or if dinosaurs are not your thing, you can add translucent jellyfish to your kitchen room. WebXR allows you to seamlessly transition from a normal website into AR. You can position models accurately on the floor or on a table. Even get things like virtual chair to look accurately sized. Even Shopify now allows their merchants to host 3D models of products that can be viewed in AR on the web. This demo shows you how you could preview a vase at home and then buy it instantly. There are so many ways AR could transform shopping online, for example. WebXR gives your device a very good understanding of the environment around it. This COVID app created by Google visualizes exactly two meters of social distancing guidelines around you. A new depth sensing feature will also allow an app to have an understanding of the 3D space in your environment. In this demo, areas with cooler colors like blue are further away, and areas with warmer colors are closer by. There's a lot more in store for the future of WebXR, and it's a great time to learn about this new technology. In this class, we will first and foremost learn how to run, debug, and code simple AR applications using WebXR. You'll be able to run existing WebXR apps like this one that lets you draw in space and understand most of the code. We'll go over how to create all kinds of shapes in AR, how to add materials to these shapes, and how to animate them. We'll also discuss how to use different types of 3D models in AR and how to animate those as well. And finally, we'll cover how to use touch interactions to add interactivity to your app. In this demo, a cone is added in AR anytime a user taps the screen. We'll cover all of this with code examples that are thoroughly explained and well commented. If you're new to web development, 3.js, or WebXR, then this is the class for you.